Okay. Lost in limbo, Central Texas tornado victims say they're still waiting for FEMA funds that have already been approved. Six News reporter Sydney Deshawn spoke with a family in Heidenheimer who is hoping for a light at the end of the proverbial tunnel. Sydney, what did you find out today? Yeah, guys, Jeremy Snowden has been trying to get answers for weeks, and he's just back at square one. Tonight, he's worried because not only is he stuck, but several other families throughout the state of Texas are in the same boat as him. Why is the state right now talking about how wonderful its people are, but they have their back turned on us? It's been nearly a month, and the community of Heidenheimer is still dealing with the aftermath of tornadoes that hit on May 22nd. Our house is unlivable right now because of the amount of mold that's in one of the rooms. That's why Jeremy Snowden filed an application with FEMA. 24 hours later, we were approved for our miscellaneous items. Snowden and his wife are renters, so they didn't qualify for home repairs with FEMA. When I got sick, we were falling behind majorly on bills, and they offered it to us to live here. He has aggressive skin cancer. Lost my ear over it. The medicine they put me on has cost me my eyesight. He's battling this and another issue. As far as disaster assistance, money-wise, we haven't seen it. Snowden says he was told it would take up to 10 dates. We're stuck in limbo because nobody can give us answers. Uh, FEMA's telling us to call the Texas Health and Human Services, and they gave us a number, but when we call, it'll ring, go through some prompts, and then just say the call can't be completed. Our representatives are still assisting other callers. We appreciate your patience. Your call is very important to us. Please continue to hold. In the meantime, Snowden hopes the people in power can do something to help. I haven't seen our governor down here. I've seen him at George Strait concerts. I've seen him talking about a border wall, but I haven't seen him address the fact that we need help in Texas. Now, the Texas Health and Human Services Department tells me wait times are higher because they are receiving so many calls. They also said the general timeline for people to receive payment after approval is just 10 days. I asked them about people like Jeremy Snowden who have not received funds beyond that general timeline, and they did not directly respond to that. We will continue to follow this story as it further develops, guys. All right, Sydney, thank you.